Hello guys. In the previous lesson, we have obtained the total form of the one wheel model with the basis of the watt, the inertia factor and the damping ratio, but as equivalent form, okay? And so we can start to introduction to the PID controller design uh, with the basis of the transfer function method, okay? And so, for the designing the PID control, the, the system should be translated into the Laplace domain from time domain because if you are using the frequency domain and then there is no time dependency, okay? And so, we can easily obtain the steady state value or the transient response of the, these systems, okay? And so, we have uh, such kind of model, the equation of motion is that torque is equal to the watt i x times x dot dot plus c x times x dot okay and so how can we obtain the Laplace transform of this thing so the transfer function between the input and the output variable okay and so the transfer function can be applied on this diagrams or the equation of motion form and so we have torque s because the torque is time dependent and so i x i x is not time dependent and so this is a constant term and can be interpreted by the using some simple constants but the x dot dot is a derivative and derivative of the position value and so we need to add the s square term in here and s is represented by the derivative of this x with respect to the time okay and so xs should be added in here and cx is the same with the time responsive or time dependent function and so s time xs can be written at this position and so what about the transfer function transfer function means that the input value and state value or the output value transfer function can be defined by the ratio of the state variable divided by the input variable okay and so if we reorganize this equation and so we have this kind of equation with the denominator term of the i x times s square plus c x times s okay and so this is our the transfer function of this equation of motion or wheel model okay and so we can easily utilize or condition this transfer function in order to obtain the full stability knowledge or reference tracking knowledge okay because we don't have to use the time response now because we have in the frequency domain and so we should only check out the root of this system okay by the way uh, this uh, lesson is dedicated to the Ammar which is the excellent guy uh, and it's my friend and and so that's okay and so what about the uh, stability condition in this notation? Stability means that uh, there is no any term, especially in the states variable, does not go to the infinity. It's always within the same bounding region or going to the zero. And so we can say that the system is stable. Okay. And so t is going to the infinity and so xt must be going to zero or some bounded region okay this is the simple definition of stability but it's enough for this lesson okay in order to design the PID controller and so what about our system our system means that the transfer function is equal to the what is equal to do this term 1 divided by s times s i x plus c x okay <coughs> and so 
there are two roots in this section which means that we can reorganize this equation like this one 1 divided by i egg divided by this full term with but with s, term, s plus c egg divided by i egg okay and so there are two roots in here s equal to zero or minus c egg divided by i egg okay and so this system can be considered by this table but this is the zero condition we don't reach the to the position value in order to control these things and this directly relates to the uh, time responsive characteristics but it's important you don't need to check out uh, this uh, zero roots at the pole but if we have the negative roots in here because the cx and ix must be positive in real life application and so we can say that this system is stable but in the velocity form not a position form okay but if we are using the PID controller design and then we can drive the system into the stable one okay and so <coughs> in the next lesson we are going to introduce the closed loop feedback controller uh, in order to design the proportional control design because we don't need to learn about the full picture of the PID controller firstly we should learn about how to we obtain or how to we apply the p controller design and then we can add the term of the integration and derivative terms into the this one okay the at final position we have the pid controller design okay in the next session we will discuss about it